All rise, please, for the bride and groom. And you can all be seated. Paul and Lisa, your worlds have come together as you have chosen this. 10th day of February in the year 2013 to come here to Las Vegas, Nevada to fulfill a promise to each other. That promise is to travel the same path together, joined in marriage. Marriage is an honorable estate established by God in the beginning of man. It is therefore never to be entered into lightly but reverently, soberly, advisedly, and in the love of God. Paul, do you take Lisa to be your wife? I do. Will you love, honor, respect, and be faithful to her all the days of your life? I will. Lisa, do you take Paul to be your husband? I do. Will you love, honor, respect, and be faithful to him all the days of your life? I will. When to travel life's journey hand in hand, Day after day, love grows. The most wonderful thing in life is the discovery of another human being with whom one's relationship has a glowing depth and beauty and joy as time goes by. This inner progressiveness of love is a marvelous thing. It cannot be found simply by looking for it or wishing for it. It truly is a divine accident. Love is a friendship that has caught fire. It's a quiet understanding, a mutual confidence, sharing, and forgiving. And love is loyalty through good times and bad. It settles for less than perfection and makes allowances for human weakness. Turn and face each other. Take each other's hands and repeat after me. I, Paul, take you, Lisa. I, Paul, take you, Lisa. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and sorrow. In prosperity and in need. In prosperity and in need. I, Lisa, take you, Paul. I, Lisa, take you, Paul. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. In prosperity, and in need. in prosperity and in need. The wedding ring is an outward and visible sign of the love and commitment that you have one for another. It is designed as a never-ending circle to symbolize the endlessness of your love and of this relationship. Paul, as you put Lisa's ring on her finger, oh, once again, repeat after me. I place this ring upon your finger. I place this ring upon your finger. As a constant reminder. As a constant reminder. Of the love and commitment. The love and commitment. I have for you. I have for you. Pick her hand up, Paul, and kiss that diamond goodbye. <laughs> Lisa, as you put Paul's ring on his finger, you repeat after me. I accept your ring. I accept your ring. And in return, and in return place this ring on your finger. Place this ring on your finger. As a reminder, as a reminder of the love and commitment. As a loving commitment. I have for you. I have for you. Now, step over to these candles. Paul, you come right around here, and Lisa, you go around that way and stand there next to Paul. You come here today as two separate individuals. Not to lose your personality or give up your identity in a merger of two lives, but rather to embark on a brand new journey as a team with the same direction, purpose, and goals. <coughs> the unity candle signifies the joining of your separate hearts and souls into one brand new life. Each of you take one of those lit candles and together light the center candle.
Now blow out the candle that's in your hand and return it to the holder. As the glow and the warmth of this flame shall burn, so also shall this relationship endure <laughs> forever and ever. And step back to the center of the chapel. Love each other, love all others, and most importantly, love yourself. For self-love is the beginning and the end of all other expressions of love, and it is God's greatest gift. This love of yourself has given you the wisdom to choose a mate with whom you wish to spend your life, the self-assurance to know that you each bring qualities to this union to make it fulfilling and long-lasting, and the courage to follow your dream. God has established marriage to make sacred the union between man and woman. He offers the privilege and responsibility of sharing our joys and our sorrows and being supportive of each other throughout our lives. Dear Lord, we are thankful to have you with us today. We ask that you would bless this couple with the wisdom to recognize the good times in their lives and the strength and courage to overcome their trials and their challenges. These favors we ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The beauty of love is this. It cannot be made, measured, or described, for it is a precious gift of the soul. And now, by the authority vested in me in the state of Nevada, it's my privilege to pronounce that together you are husband and wife. Paul, you may kiss. <laughs> your and make your first dance. You don't have to. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, just turn and walk right back down that Thank line. Thank you. <laughs>